Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how I made my HB driver circuit based on the on the MC three three eight eight three HB driver IC over here. The schematic for this HB driver IC can could be found in in the HB IC data sheet the the MC three three eight eight three data sheet. So this circuit over here was copied directly from the MC three three eight eight three and HB driver data sheet. And these are the pins. These are the control pins. There are, there are four of them. So these control pins, for example, you for the forward for the forward position. You have to apply a set of instruction as shown on the table here. Same as for the reverse. And also we will need one of these at least. This is a triple five timer module with variable frequency and duty cycle. So now let us power up the module using a 7.2 volt voltage source. So I have wired up the, the triple five timer module. This wire over here is a signal output, and let's see from the waveform on the scope now. So now I have nine point two kilohertz frequency with a duty cycle of thirty three percent. So that will be good for the signal from required for the H bridge driver IC. So now I'll be wiring up my HP driver IC control pins. There are four control pins. So the enable will always be pull up high. I mean this is the fifth control pin. And the first pin is pin six. You have to pull this up high to the VCC wheel, which we already done it. And pin seven has to be put to ground so as you can see pin 7 is to ground pin 16 is to the signal the PWM signal which is provided by this triple five timer module so I will not need that not need that wire I use this wire to plug in, in to plug it in Pin 17 will go to ground, pull down to ground, which is correct. And let's power it up. And before powering up, I will use this under ohm test load over here. After which we will be, after which we will replace this with a motor. So let's power it up. Let's probe the waveform. And here we go. The PWM signal coming out of this 
100 ohm resistor load is more or less the same as the PWM generated by my module which is good so let's proceed on with the motor test so I already hook up my motor to the output of the h bridge driver let's power it up it should spin and yes it indeed spins let's check the waveform on the oscilloscope which is probed on the output yes and yes we have a clean signal quite a good signal on the output the motor is run the motor is running and is working fine so now it's time to test the reverse drive of the motor we do a disable this so it stops spinning then we can do our settings pin says go to ground pin 7 we are taking the PWM signal ok pin 7 is wired up let's proceed on to pin 16 pin 16 of the HB driver IC goes to ground And P17 of the HB driver IC when goes to the push up high to the VCC rail. So now let's test it. Turning on the enable once again. And we can see it spins in reverse right now. Which means it's working fine. So now let's see the waveform on my oscilloscope. So as you can see, now the waveform is reversed, that means it's the spike, the signal is going on the negative side which is good because we are running our motor in reverse anyway. And we still have the same frequency, nearly 10 kHz, but the duty cycle is a little higher, says the 564 which is also normal because the duty cycle measurement only me measure on the wave based on the high side of the wave uh, however there's a small motor and this motor over here draws very little current about 20 milliamps but however I have problems driving a larger motor for example you want to drive a motor for a buggy or for a RC car I think uh, I tried that for my school project and well the H bridge driver failed on me so if you know what is going on or how to improve the circuit do let me know on the com on the comment section below thank you don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.